What is up you guys? My name is Hillary and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. I am so excited. It is December 1st and I am ready to get into my reindeer readathon books that I plan on reading this month. Excuse the fly that is flying around. And I am excited to do this reading vlog for you for week one. Like I said in my reindeer readathon TBR, I'm gonna try and vlog every week, but it most likely won't happen. But if it does, good. But for this first week of the reading vlogs, I'm gonna be reading from the first till next Wednesday and go from there. But the book I'm planning on reading for this reading vlog is Girl Made of Stars, Heartstoppers Volume 4. And Trist Six Venom, which I chose shorter books just because this book is super chunky. It has over 550 pages in it to read, so this is going to take me a little bit to get through. But I'm excited to get to all of these books and to see what I think and to take you guys along with me for it. And I will try and incorporate some of the stuff that we're going to be doing for this week into this vlog. And... I will most likely put more into it starting tomorrow because I have to coach soccer tonight for my youngest daughter and we're gonna have a blast doing that and yes before we get into this reading vlog don't forget to hit that like and that subscribe and that notification bell so you'll be the first to know when I am posting and without further ado let's get right on into this reading vlog
up you guys so I am coming in with an update so I started Girl Made of Stars last night and I ended up finishing it today it is such an awesome book and everything that talks about in there is crazy I couldn't imagine how Mara felt with her brother being the accused of a sexual assault and then it's with her best friend and I just feel like your her emotions were just everywhere because she wants to believe her best friend but she wants to believe her brother but then eventually she figures out that her brother is lying because she can tell his tales on when he's lying but also she's battling inner demons from when she was younger and what happened with her so that part is like very heartbreaking and this this book was amazing. I ended up giving it five stars and I love it and I want to eventually reread it again because it was just that good and I would love to annotate it and just seeing everything Mara went through and I just couldn't imagine going through that with her and every step of the way and this whole thing happened and now the family's just at a standstill. I mean, her and her twin brother were best friends and now she feels very distant from him because of what he did. And the parents believed him and she kept not believing him and it kind of just tore the family apart here and there. But I think it will... I don't know how it will turn out between them like I'm thinking that these are real people but they're not but I don't know how they would be able to come back together from this and their their difference is thought during this process that of things that happened but then at the end I'm so glad she finally went to her parents and told her or told them what happened three years ago to her between her and a teacher and I think that was a great ending to the story because it's kind of her opening up about what she went through. But yeah, that is what I thought of this book. Like I said, I gave it five stars. absolutely loved it and it was so good and I want to pick up other books by this author. And then the next book I'm going to be reading in this reading vlog is Heartstopper Volume 4. Like I said at the beginning, I'm very excited to read this. This shouldn't take me very long to read and get through it. I should be able to read it all tonight and get it done and update you guys tomorrow. And I'm just excited to jump back into Nick and Charlie's story. But before I do that, I ended up in my December Book of the Month box. So I'm going to unbox this with you guys here right now and show you what books I ended up getting. So they ended up sending me this card which says, way to go champ, you kept your eyes on the prize, congrats on completing the 2022 reading challenge, which is different challenges where you had to read so many books and then so many new released books and there was something else in there but I can't remember, but I ended up doing that and completing it and getting a special gift from them so I will show you guys that now. And that gift is this beautiful notepad which says things I may or may not deal with later. I think it's so cute and I love the size of it. I thought it was going to be very like a smaller notepad but I'm glad it's bigger. And then also they had the 2022 book finalists books and since I'm a BFF of theirs I get to choose one for free. And I will show you that one. And the book finalist book that I chose was Black by... I'm probably going to butcher this, but it's Charmaine Wilkerson. And this one just sounded really good to me. And it says, we can't choose what we inherit, but we can choose who we become. In present day California, Eleanor Bennett's death leaves behind a puzzling inheritance for her two children, Byron and Benny. A traditional Caribbean black cake made from a family recipe with a long history and a voice recording. In her message, Eleanor shares a tumultuous story about a headstrong young swimmer who escapes her island home under suspicion of murder. The heartbreaking tale Eleanor unfolds, the secrets she, she still holds ba back, and the mystery of a long-lost child challenge everything the siblings thought they knew. 
about their lineage and themselves. Can Byron and Benny reclaim their once closed relationship, piece together Eleanor's true story, and fulfill her final request to share the black cake when the time is right? Will their mother, re mother's revelations bring them back together or leave them feeling more lost than ever? This sounds really good and I'm excited to read this one and it's just one that I got for free so I figured why not give it a try and can't wait to see what I think about it. And the next book it was one of the picks for this month and I am so excited for this book because I read this author's other books which was The Poppy War and then the second book in that trilogy. I have not read the last one yet but I plan to sometime next year. And so I ended up getting her new book with Book of the Month, and that book is Fabul by R.F. Kuang. Now, I think this is going to be a standalone, but I'm not 100% sure. And I know this is adult fantasy, I'm pretty sure. And I wish they would tell you, because usually on the back they'll put, like, the genre that it is. But all it says is Tradator, Tradator, an act of translation is always on the act of betrayal. 1828, Robin Swift, orphaned by cholera and Canton, is brought to London by the mysterious Professor Lovell. There, Robin trains for years in Latin, Ancient Greek, and Chinese, all in preparation for the day he'll enroll in Oxford University's prestigious Royal Institute of Translation, also known as Babel. The tower and its students are the world center for translation and, more importantly, magic. Silver working, the art of manifesting the meaning lost in translation using enchanted silver bars has made the British unparalleled in power as the arcane craft serves the empire's quest for colonization. For Robin, Oxford is a utopian and dedicated to the pursuit of knowledge, but knowledge obeys power and as a Chinese boy raised in Britain, he realizes serving Babel means betraying his motherland and his studies progress. Robin finds himself caught between Babel and the shadowy Her Hermes Society, an organization dedicated to stopping imperial em expansion when Britain pursues an unjust war with China over silver and opium. Robin must decide. Can powerful institutions be changed from within, or does revolution always require violence? This sounds really good, and I'm so glad I got it, because like I said, I liked her other books, and I have been looking forward to getting this book since I found out she was writing another one. And then the next book I got, which was a pick for the month, is a romance, and it's a female-female romance, and that is Kiss Her Once For Me by Allison Contram. And the only little bit I want to read to you was, it said something online that said, girl meets boy, or no, boy meets girl, girl falls for boy's sister. That's all I want to know going into this because it is a romance and I just want to see what happens and I think it's going to be cute and it's going to be perfect for this winter even if I don't get it read before Christmas. And then the last one is actually an older book from Book of the Month and this one came out in 2018 and it is Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik. I haven't heard much about this but I keep seeing it like at my library and I've been wanting to read it. But it says, with a Nebula award-winning uprooted, Naomi Novik opened a brilliant new chapter in an already acclaimed career, delving into the magic of fairy tales to craft a love story that was both timeless and utterly, and now Spinning Silver draws readers deeper into the glittering realm of fantasy, where the boundary between wonder and terror is thinner than a breath, and safety can be stolen as quickly as a kiss. Miriam is the daughter and granddaughter of moneylenders, but her father's inability to collect his debts ha has left his family on the edge of poverty until Miriam takes matters into her own hands. Hardening her heart, the young woman sets out to claim what is owed and soon gains a, gains a reputation for being able to turn silver into gold. When an ill-advised boast draws the attention of the king of the Star Starik groom, Grim fey creatures who seem more ice than flesh, Miriam's faith, fate and that of two kingdoms will be forever altered. Set an impossible challenge by the na nameless king, Miriam unwittingly spins a web of, that draws in a peasant girl, Wanda, and the unhappy daughter of a local lord who plots to wed her child to the dashing young star. But Tsar Mernatius is not what he sees seems. 
and the secret he hides threatens to consume the lands of humans and Starik alike. Torn between deadly choices, Miriam and her two unlikely allies embark on a desperate quest that will take them to the limits of sacrifice, power, and love. Channeling the vibrant heart of myth and fairy tale, spinning silver weaves a multi-layered magical tapestry that readers will want to return to again and again. This sounds really good, and I am excited to get to this one also. And then I also... One second, trying to get these out of this box. I also got some stickers again this year. They send out stickers every winter before Christmas. And look at these stickers. They're so cute. And I will probably take these and put them in my bullet journal for next year or on the front. I like putting stickers on the front and decorating it. And then we got all the books that were Book of the Month finalists, which I read A Flicker in the Dark, which was really, really good. And The Love Hypothesis, which was really good. But I obviously you saw I got Black Cake and these other two were finalists and then the winner was tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow so yeah that's what I got for this little book haul that I'm bringing you like I said I'm very excited to read these and if you're interested in any of the books I talked to you about I will leave a link to book of the month down below and you can use my referral code to get your first book for $9.99 and all of their books come hardback and they're just nice to have and you get a lot more variety and genres that you don't think that you normally would read with their selections every month and this is not an ad or anything I'm not being sponsored I just love book of the month a lot but let's get back into this reading vlog like I said I'm going to start Heartstopper volume 4 by Alice Hoseman everybody so last night I finished reading Heartstopper volume 4 and first of all I want to say check trigger warnings before you read this series because it has some serious topics that it talks about and other than that I absolutely love this book I gave it five stars and just everything that happens in this book it's just so hard to read about because like I went through bullying in school and had body issues because people would make fun of me and I get where Charlie is coming from and I love that Nick was there for him the whole time he was going through everything and I just loved it and it just really touched my heart now I have to wait till volume 5 comes out this next year and I don't know how she's going to wrap it up, but I'm very excited for it. But I also, let me grab it, started Trist Six Venom last night. I made it to, let's see, 105 pages. And I'm really loving the angst between Clay and Olivia. And I'm loving the enemies part. I love how they try and get underneath each other's skin, and neither one's going to back down, but I can't wait to see where else this goes. It's been probably a year since I've read it, or a little bit over a year since I last read it, and all the things that I thought before have come back, and I'm just enjoying this read. And the nice thing about Penelope Douglas books is that they might be steamy and stuff, but 
they're so easy to read. You don't have to like focus so hard on them when you're reading them. But yeah, I'm just enjoying it and yeah, that's all that I have for this update. I have my coffee here and I have my book and football's on so I'm going to go downstairs and read and watch some football and yeah, so I will talk to you guys later. up you guys so I sorry if I sound bad I am fighting a cold right now but two days ago I finished Trist 6 Venom and I give it four stars I absolutely love this book the only complaint I have is I wish Penelope Douglas would write other books from the brothers points of views in these books and because I love the brothers, I love how protective they are of family, and that they they help family and stuff no matter what. My favorite part in this book will have to be the ending when Clay is asking Olivia's brother if she can marry Olivia and stuff, and he just bursts out laughing and all this and everything that he says. But, yeah, I love this book for the second time reading it, and I'm so glad I bought it. And that is it for this reading vlog. If you guys enjoyed this, hit that like and that subscribe and hit that notification bell, and you'll be the first to know when I am posting, because I am posting almost every week this month. And as always, keep on reading, people. Bye!